Well, here we are with a fresh cut face and head, just in time to wrap up the second season at Lusitania La Rosa. If you watched last episode, you probably have a pretty good idea of what's coming. If you haven't, please go back and do, because a lot of spoilers are ahead. Welcome to the season finale. Hey guys, my name is Jochen and welcome to part 16 of Iberian Sun, a football manager adventure played on Google Stadia. First of all, if you like the series so far, please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more football manager content. Now, as I mentioned in the intro, if you watched the previous episode, it was pretty clear that we were mathematically sure of being crowned champions, although football manager didn't announce it within the episode. But I think we played Lake Seuss and Benfica B in the previous episode, so the next game against Casa Pia, we won 2-0 at home and we were crowned league champions. So our math was correct. I think it was simply the fact that Benfica B couldn't get promoted, that football manager didn't take that into account in its calculations because, like I mentioned several times, our math was correct. So after the Casa Pia game, we played two more league games, which we also won. I mean, look at Frank Corre. Bam, bam, bam. He's quite on a hot streak. Today we are going to play the two final league games of the season against Aves away and at home against last in the league, Estoril. Now if we have a quick look at the league table, of course there is this beautiful C in front of our name. So we are in fact officially crowned league champions in the second league in Portugal. So we did back-to-back -back promotions. Thank you. Pinafield, Benfica B and everyone else can't catch us anymore. There were only two games left and we are 20 points ahead of second placed Pinafield. Also, if you look at the bottom of the league, we have more good news because our good friends, our arch enemies from Aroca, have been relegated. So it's safe to say that our first season in the second league went a little bit better than theirs. So bye bye Oroka. I hope I never meet you again. If we have a quick look at the player stats, Frank Corre at this point is top scorer in the league with 18 goals. He's also third place in the average rating list. And Bonani, our left winger, is the assist king with 14 assists at this point. Two games left to play, so these are not the final numbers. Centurion is second place in clean sheets, but it's safe to say he won't catch Luis Ribeiro, who is the Pinafil goalkeeper. Let's play our first game. For the away game against Aves, we only have Jorginho who is injured, his season is pretty much over, so he won't be joining us for the final two games. Also, Ministro is all happy again. He didn't get a new contract, I didn't like promote him again to regular starter or anything. I don't know what happened. He's happy again, so I don't know what to do with him in the summer because I don't think he is good enough to actually be a starting midfielder for us in the Premier League, which is going to happen officially in a few months' time. So let's see what we do with Ministro. That being said, the squad to face Aves. Centurion and goal, Ivanilson, Carmo, Minguesa and Midaglia as our back four. In the midfield, golden boy Borges with Ministro and Raposo, Bonani on the left wing, Tevas on the right and star striker Frank Corre. Let's go to our dressing room. We should challenge you yeah, up where they left off. That's good with me. Couple of guys seem motivated. It doesn't matter at all what our result is here. But of course we want to end the season in style by winning two games. Let's go boys. Minguesa now with the ball from the back. To Midaglia. Has some time and passes it back to Ministro. Diego Raposo, good ball to Bonani, skips past his man, can he get a cross in? He can and ooh, Tevez heads it just over the crossbar. Let's do our first shout, let's ask them to get creative. Menguesa is already booked and here we go, a new highlight after 25 minutes of play. Aves with the ball to start from the back. Bruno Moraes. They take their time and then Ministro intercepts. Borges with the ball to Bonani. Passes it all the way back to David Carmo. 
Ivan Ilson, the substitute left wing back. There he is. Good ball back to Bonani and ooh, hits a player in the face, I guess. Medaglia now. Attack isn't over. Good cross to Bonani. Oh, a header goal and he is like a really small dude. But I think mainly the goalkeeper. Hmm. Let's look at it again. Ministro starts the action to Medaglia, who gets the cross in, and then Bonani. I mean, nothing really spectacular about that header, to say the least, but we are 1 0 up after 25 minutes of play. Almost 40 minutes in, when we arrive at the next highlight, Bruno Moraes with the free kick for Aves falls to Mangas. That's a very good ball, and that would have been an awesome goal. Woo! Good stuff by Aves. Luckily, we are still 1 0 up just before halftime. Would be a very bad timing to concede a goal, but it is possible. Falsao now with the ball for Aves at the back. Miremic. That's a good intervention by David Carmo. Borges collects the ball. Ivan Nilsson back to Carmo. Lovely triangle. Borges now with the ball. Ministro with some time. Another triangle. Hoo hoo. Tiki taka alert. Tevez gets the ball. And can he get a cross in? And there was Bonani once again and Raposo in the rebound, but doesn't score. I think we are going into halftime. Dressing room, please. I think we should, yep, encourage the team. Nobody cared. Start second half. I don't know what to shout at this point, so I'm not going to shout anything. Let's just see how they do in the second half. An immediate highlight. Across, and there is the goal. Merat Mohammadi, 17th goal of the season. Wow, I think he is second in the goal scorer list behind Frank Correa. Let's have another look, a throw in. And simply bad marking. I mean, there are how many? Four, five guys even. And still Mohami gets to score. So let's just ask for some passion. Nobody cared? Alrighty. Almost 60 minutes in. First highlight for us, so far at least, in the second half. There he is, man of the season, you can say. Frank Correa, Ivan Nilsson now. David Carmo, and loses the ball. Hmm. Douglas can go to Centurion, and luckily Centurion saves our butts. Let's demand more, because we are 65 minutes in, and I am going to do my first substitution. Um... Hmm, Correa isn't having his best game, but I am going to leave him up there. Maybe Raposo for Lewis. Let me have a look at the defense. Hmm, I think we're okay. Let's confirm. New highlight, Mangas with the free kick, and that's way out. And he, I think he hits the crossbar. Wow. We are dominating, of course, match stats-wise. But as we all know in Football Manager... That is not always the truth. So let's do another substitution. I mean, 1-1 is not bad. And once again, it doesn't really matter what the result is. Let's give Zakpa some more minutes and also Marcio Ortiz. There we go. Final minutes of the game. New highlight, Ivan Nilsson now. Throws it to Ministro, who has acres of space. Can he get a shot in maybe? He can't. Passes it to Midaglia. Back to Ministro. Give it to Borges. He'll do the shot. Sakpa. Ooh. Mm. If Sakpa would have been the efficient Sakpa that we know, we would have been 2-1 up. Ball gets headed away and gets kicked away by Aves. I think the game is over. And we will end this in a 1-1 draw. There we go. We should have won it, to be honest. 29 shots versus 10. Hmm. Possession-wise, of course, we are also the better team. Let's go to our dressing room. It was disappointing, although it doesn't matter, like I said. But we should have won. Let's have a look at the players that probably you will see for the last time in the La Rosa shirt. Carmo Lewis, obviously, since they're here on loan. Andrade, no biggie, he was our third choice left wing back. One of the more known players to you guys, Julio Alves, who was our top scorer last season in the championship, 18 goals. Won't be renewing his contract. Victor Cordoba, 
one of our star players really last season. Seven goals, two assists, four man of match awards. This season, not so much, got pushed a little bit to the background. But that's how life works, doesn't it? Mosquera, our goalkeeper for last season, he already has a transfer arranged to the Colombian side, Tolima. And then, of course, we have Marcio Ortiz, who didn't really grow into the star player that I was expecting him to do. But nonetheless, he is one of the players. Let me just resize everything here. He is one of the he is the player actually where I was doubting about just to keep him or to let him go. I am gonna let him go mainly because he is an inside forward and I do really want winger players or natural wingers, let me put it like that, on the left wing side and also on the right wing side. So Ortiz is going somewhere in the summer. He won't be joining us next season. And then, of course, the main character, our star player, I think we, it's fair to say that for last season, 17 goals, 6 assists, 5 man of match awards, Goba Zakpa. Now, I am doubting because it's the simple fact if I take him with me to the Premier League, he is going to be a backup and he won't play much. I'll guarantee you that. Also, like Ortiz, he is an inside forward and I want a natural winger on my right wing. I mean, it's simply an homage to Zakpa almost that, I, that I'm not renewing his contract because I do want him to play somewhere where he has the playing time or where he can end his career in style. So probably the last time, most certainly the last time you'll see these guys in a La Rosa shirt. Now I am going to play some of them just as a little collective homage, if you will. It is against the last team in the league that we are playing today, and it doesn't matter what the result is. So if there's any point, any time to give an homage, it is now. So the squad to face last placed Astoril, Mosquera and Goal, Ivan Nilsson, Minguesa, Silva and Midaglia as our back four, Ministro, Cordoba and Ortiz as our midfield triangle, Bonani on the left wing, Zakpa on the right, and lone striker Frank Corre. I could play Julio Alves as a striker, but I simply want Frank Correa to be the top scorer in the league. So, there you go. Submit team, let's play the last game of the second season. Let's head to the dressing room. I think we should encourage, is there something like, it's been the last, it's the last league game or whatever. Pfft. This is still like bugged. Mm. These fans have been fantastic. Let's do this. Okay. Motivated some people. Kick off the game, please. Almost eight minutes in, first highlight, Ministro with the free kick and Oscar Minguesa with only his second goal of the season. Assist by Ministro from the free kick. We are 1-0 up after eight minutes. Let's have another look. Ministro swings it in and Minguesa rises out of the pack to head it in the back of the net. Good stuff after eight minutes. Next highlight, 14 minutes in, Medaglia on the right hand side, passes it back to Zakpa, there he is, take a good look, Oh, and Bonani in the rebound twice, and misses it. How awesome would it be if Zakpa scores in this last game, his last game, and La Rosa. Minguesa now from the back, Ministro in the midfield to Cordoba, bless you Cordoba, last game for him. There he is, Frank Correa tries some... I don't know what he was trying actually. Some weird shot, a lob or something. Jorge Silva from the back now to Ministro. Good ball to Bonani. Can he get yet another assist? There he goes, and there he is. Oh, -oh. Goba Zakpa, seven goal of the season. I mean, as a sub, he did get some more playing time than I was planning to because Tevas got injured halfway the season. But still, I mean, look at this. This is classic Sakpa. Swing it in. He's not even a good header. But he will do the magic in front of goal. Good boy, Goba Zakpa. 30 minutes in. Next highlight. Ortiz passes it back to Cordoba. There he is once again. Goba Zakpa to Cordoba. I mean, if Zakpa scores three times, I'm obliged by law even. Ooh, obliged by law to give him a new contract. Even Ilson and there is Bonani. Sixth goal of the season, very good assist by Ivan Nilsson. I think it is time for a little praise after the replay. Ivan Nilsson, 
heads into the box, almost gets clattered, but stays on his feet and puts a simple yet efficient assist for Bonani. And Bonani bangs it home. Sixth goal of the season. Now let's do the shout. Corner kick with Bonani. Oh, who was that, Cordoba? Doesn't matter. Over the bar. 35 minutes in, we are 3 0 up. And even with a, I wouldn't say a B squad, but there are some, at least four players, I think, who are normally on the bench. And that was a good header. Oh, I thought we'd get away. Nope. The foul was made by Estoril and not by us. Ministro now with the in-swinging. Oh, that's a good goal. Wow, Oscar Minguesa, third goal of the season. Pretty much a replay of the first goal. Assist from the free kick by Ministro. Let's look at that again. I thought it was going to be offside, but it wasn't. And Minguesa, very good header via the crossbar. 3-0. What? 4-0. Excuse me. Wow. 20 shots versus 2. We are first in the league. They are last. I mean, could it be more obvious? I think not. We do appreciate the efforts. Start our last half in our second season at La Rosa. Our last half in the second league. And once again, ooh, that was Frank Correa. Would be awesome if he bangs another goal in. But mm, 50 minutes into the game and I think... Nope, I thought I was going to say this is the first highlight for Estoril, but Ivan Ilson intercepts the ball to Bonani. Skips past one man. Ortiz now. There he is again, Zakpa, with his left foot. <laughs> oh boy. Is he making me doubt to renew his contract or what? Let's look at it again because it was a beautiful goal. Good action by Bonani on the left hand side. Ortiz to Zagpa, and I mean, classic Zagpa, ba bam You know what, let me know down in the comments if I should renew this man's contract, because I am really starting to doubt that. And I know he's going to be a substitute for us in the Premier League, but I don't even care, to be honest. He's just the character, he's been there from the start, and... I think we should... <laughs> no, we didn't. Okay, now I have to. Don't even bother commenting. I said in the game, in the replay, if he scores three times, I will have to, by law, renew his contract. And that's what I'll do. I just hope that he is content with being a substitute. If he is, he will be here. Ooh. If he is, he will be here next season. I promise you that. So, with three goals in the back, if this isn't like a standing ovation substitution, I don't know what is. For Tevez, maybe while we are here. Also get Cordoba off. Cordoba I won't be renewing his contract, so that was the last time you guys saw him in a La Rosa shirt. Next highlight, throw in with Ivan Nilsson. Let's before I forget again, praise him. Borges now to Ortiz. Can he also score? No, he can't. Good shot though, but misses the target. Let's do our final substitution. Um, Ortiz, I also won't be renewing him. Let's give, just for the sake of it, Edmilson Santos, who will be here next season if he still wants to because he hasn't played a single game as a starter so i'm not sure we'll see about that in the summer Corre now with the ball back to ivan Ilson, to borges to minguesa to santos there he is passes it to ministro but falls to ivan Ilson. Borges once again. I mean, Borges is really the golden boy in our midfield. Trust me. Holy smokes. That was quite the bomb from Santos, but misses the target. We are finishing the season with a 6-0 win against Estoril. 42 shots to 5. Wow. Dressing room, please. Head to assistant. Bam, bam. Everyone's delighted. Everyone's extremely delighted. And if the stats alone weren't enough, Sakpa himself wants to commit his future to the club. I mean, let's just do it on camera. Offer a new contract. This is going to be a problem. Um, as you can see, it recommends me to do fringe player. 
Should I go for impact sub? Because I don't even know if he's good enough in the Premier League to be an impact sub. Let's try French player. Immediate, that's okay. And this is the problem I was fearing. He wants to be an important player. And he is simply not good enough. He is a leading player for most second league sides. But we are going to the Premier League. And Tevez is better than him. And I think even Tevez is not a lead is not a good Premier League player at this point. So you saw that I tried, but he wants to be a star player or an important player, and I simply cannot give him that. So with a lot of pain in my heart, I have to walk away. To wrap up the episode and basically the second season at La Rosa, let's have a last look at the Portuguese second league table. We, of course, are crowned champions. We have 20 points more than Benfica B, who can get promoted, as we mentioned. Penafil can, and they are going up with us to the Portuguese Premier League. If we have a look at the player stats, Frank Correa is the top scorer with 18. He didn't score in the last two games, I know, but still, he is crowned top scorer of the league with 18 goals. Bonani added one more assist, and he ends the season with 15 assists, which makes him, of course, the one and only assist king in the second league in Portugal. Now the clean sheets, as I mentioned, Centurion wasn't possible to catch up with Ribeiro, who finishes off with 21 clean sheets, which is really a lot, to be honest. And I think that is one of the main reasons why Pinafil will be joining us to the Portuguese Premier League. So guys, that was it for this episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please leave me a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more Football Manager content. Next episode, we are going to do the summer break, which basically means we are getting ready with Lusitania La Rosa to tackle our first season in the Portuguese Premier League. With that being said, I thank you so much for watching and I will see you very soon.